Hello everyone, welcome back to Momentos de Tecnología and in this opportunity and in this quick video we're going to see how to reset to default factory settings of the Unify IP cameras. Usually we use this uh, little button, this reset button in these cameras in order to reset these devices and usually it is a very foolproof service that they provide um, with this button. It usually takes about 10, 15, some people do 30 seconds, but with 15 seconds, it's gonna be just enough for these cameras to reset. But what happens when you have this scenario where you're gonna have to need the help of someone just to get to get close to the devices? You're not gonna be able to do this very simple process of using a clip to reset the cameras. A process that usually takes about uh, 15 seconds and one minute for the camera to boot up again is not going to be as simple if you have that scenario. Let me tell you in advance that you're going to need to have the password in order to connect directly to the IP camera or in order to connect through the secure shell uh, to the cameras. So it is very important that you have access to the video server, to the Unify video server, or uh, right here you're gonna find camera password and that is the password that you're gonna need in order to log in directly to the cameras or in case that you have the um, network controller or the protect controller I'm sorry uh, you're gonna find this password right there in order to connect through a program like putty uh, which we're going to see in a few moments and you're gonna be able to execute commands remotely through the secure shell connection so this one is the first option that you're gonna need, uh, is the first option that we're gonna try. We're going to log in directly to the camera. Remember that this IP address, you're gonna find it in the network controller, in devices, you're gonna find the IP address of the camera. Otherwise, you're gonna find it in the DHCP server of your network. Something very interesting is that you're gonna need sometimes this password and sometimes you may need the UBNT default password that we're gonna see in just a few moments. In order for you not to, to get confused, you're gonna have basically two options. Go directly to the camera and reset the camera through this little button, or you can log in directly to the camera right here and execute a command that you're gonna see in a few moments. But sometimes the camera may be bricked or something like that, and you may need direct access to the camera. Another option is that you do not have access to this web interface and you're, you're gonna need to uh, execute the commands through the soccer shell, which we're gonna see uh, at the end of this video. Right here is very simple. You just go to the system tab right here and you're gonna find this little default option, reset to defaults. But let's pause right here for a moment and let's suppose that you do not have access to this web user interface, uh, but you have a ping responding from the camera in that case uh, is good news is good news you have a ping you do not have access to the web interface but you have a response to the ping so you're going to use the secure shell connection right here with with this uh, putty program and you're going to connect directly to the camera using the ssh uh, username and password okay right here you just log into the camera with the username and the password that was set in the talk, uh, sorry, in the video controller or in your Unify video server. Once you connect with the username and password that you have right there, you execute the command that we're gonna leave uh, in the description of the video and you're just going to click enter. At that moment, at that moment, the camera is going to start the procedure into which it is going to reset to its default values. So you could have just clicked here in the reset to defaults or you could just connect through putty and execute the remote command. So now we're going to go to the IP address of the camera, which in this case was again least uh, the same address. And we're going to log in with the UBNT default username and password, which is UBNT UBNT. And you can see right here that you have the camera ready to be set up. Okay, everyone, thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel. Remember that we are uploading every week more and more content in English, so it is available all over the world. Thank you very much for watching. Remember that this was Tech Moments. See you next time.